Greetings, and welcome to Order In. We're here at Bright Cove Tempe, my place of work, and we've been working hard lately, so it's time for a happy hour at the Tiki Bar and some delicious pot stickers. Again with the cutting of the onions. We're going to chop up some onions, chop up some cabbage, and chop up some green onions. You want to make sure you're getting it really, really fine before you add the... Surprise! Get that good and mixed up, and then we're going to add in some soy sauce some sesame oil, some oyster sauce, some rice vinegar, grated ginger and grated garlic, some unphotographed sake if you're of That's age, gross. photographed if you can find it, and the meat. At this point, we're going to recruit someone with dainty hands and get to mixing. It's so squishy! <laughs> get the mixture into the fridge for about a half an hour to set up, but don't let it sit there for too long or it'll kind of ceviche itself. This would be just as good a time as any to brush your teeth if you haven't already. <laughs> when you're ready to cook, well, it's probably about time to get them formed. We're going to take some store-bought gyoza wrappers and dump in the filling. Then we're just going to take a bit of water, swish it around one side, and fold them up like a taco. Before you squish them together, we're going to pleat one side of them. Uh, it gives it that signature look, and it might even make them taste better. While we're making the gyoza, we should make some sauce. We're going to take some soy sauce, some sesame oil, some rice vinegar, some chili oil, and sake. Get it mixed up in a bowl and wait for deliciousness. Cooking the gyoza goes something like this in a medium-sized, well-oiled saucepan over medium-high heat. We're going to get all the gyoza in, and then pour in just enough water to come in about halfway. Cover the gyoza and let them come to a boil. Let them simmer away until all the water has reduced, or at least most of the way, and get them uncovered. Once all the water is gone, we're going to add just a little bit of oil to help them free up, and then wait for the crispy. Get the gyoza freed up off the bottom of the pan with a plastic spatula and dump them out onto a plate. These things are a fantastic appetizer or a snack for a party. That's right. Thanks for watching and remember, why order out when you can hang out and order?